These are going to be the best settings in Season 2 of Marvel Rivals. So instead of wasting your time, let's get right into it. First thing, display mode. Full screen seems to be the best for me. But if you have two monitors, you should probably use borderless windowed. And the reason why is it's much easier to tab out of games without your game closing. And it overall performs better. Second thing, if you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, you want to put this on NVIDIA DLSS. And you want to use the balance preset. If you're on AMD like me, you want to use Epic TSR. From my testing, this is the one that performs the best and still keeps up the image quality looking good. And for super resolution, you want to put on performance. And for anti-aliasing, the best I found is Ultra. As for the super resolution sharpening, I keep it at 80, but it depends on what you want to look at. You can turn it all the way down to get better frame rate, but it'll look uglier. Or you can turn it all the way up to keep the images very sharp and clear. But I do think that 80 is a decent balance. Now, for frame gen. If you have frame gen on, you don't like yourself. Frame gen is garbage. It makes your frame rate get much higher. But if you've ever wondered, why does my aim just feel off? Why does the game just feel weird for me? It's because of frame gen. Frame gen basically makes you have fake frames that causes input delay, making it so that everything you do is behind when you actually do it. As for anti-lag or low latency mode, if you have NVIDIA, uh, I've tried it. Low latency mode on NVIDIA, I find works better than AMD anti-lag 2, but that's just me. It's not a super big difference, so you can try it out, but personally, I keep it off. Now, for the part everyone cares about, up here, V-Sync, turn it off. It adds input delay as well. You go to graphics quality, everything is on low or off except for shadow detail and effects detail. And honestly, you could even put these a little higher if you wanted to. And the reason why is shadow detail, you can actually see your enemy's shadows in game, and it's helped me many times in my matches. On top of that, if you switch over to Hella, when you're facing an enemy Hella, whenever she goes into the bird and you have low effects detail on, you won't see the red trail behind the bird. So if you turn on effects detail and put it up to high or ultra, you will see the trail. And you can see the trail right here with the green bird. And this just helps you keep track of enemies much better. Now, this is something that nobody talks about enough. And this is such an amazing setting. Head over to combat mix. But before you scroll down, switch this to immersion. Personally, I find that immersion works better. Because you can hear fights better. You can hear everything much better. And it makes everything almost clearer and louder. Mess with these though. Because most people stay on default and don't even realize that these are a thing. Then you scroll down. And go to KO Sound Cue. Please turn both of these on and max them out. If you've ever sat there and you've ulted and your whole team was dead, this will save you. Because it makes a sound effect every single time an enemy or a teammate dies. And they're two different sound effects, making it very easy for you to tell which one is which. And almost all the settings guide I've seen lately, they don't talk about this at all. Most people don't even realize this is a thing. Now, the last two things you really need to worry about is if you head over to keyboard, scrolling down and going down to raw input. In my last settings guide, I was talking about how in game you could have mouse acceleration even if you turn it off right here because Windows has built in mouse acceleration. But with this raw input right here, if you turn it on, you'll never have to worry about that. And some people will say, well, my sensitivity got slower. It's because you had mouse acceleration on this entire time. And obviously, speaking of mouse acceleration, turn these two off mouse smoothing and mouse acceleration because it just adds inconsistency to your aim. And then finally in social. Since bands have been moved up all the way to gold, everybody, if you want to enjoy the game and actually get to play the characters you like, need to turn this on. Scroll all the way down and see hide own name competitive. If you turn this on, your name at the start of each game will be hidden so people can't look up your name and, and target ban you. And in some ranks this doesn't happen, in some ranks it does. I just turn it off because I don't want to even risk it. So it's right here if you guys want to do it. And if you're ever recording or anything, if you want to hide names, you just hit streaming mode and you turn on hide own name. And now with all these crispy settings, if you guys like free stuff and you want to get better at Marvel Rivals, check out the link to Gosu Academy in the description. It's completely free coaching for an entire month. Or you can get my one-on-one -on -one coaching in the description as well. And you should check out this 44-minute video of pure knowledge that I learned from coaching from bronze players all the way up to eternity. I love you guys. Have a good one. God bless you.